Hello, everybody. My name is Hugo Garcia Larriva, and I'm from Ecuador. I want to thank to the organizing committee members of the 2022 New York Arbitration Week for its kind invitation. To answer the question, who is in charge of arbitration, today I will share with you a brief overview of the relationship between arbitration and the judicial system in Ecuador. It is commonly said that a chain is only as strong as it, its weakest link. No surprise. If arbitration were to be a chain, its weakest links will be, first, the respect for party autonomy, second, the ability of an arbitral tribunal to retain and assert its jurisdiction, and third, except for specific circumstances set forth in the law, the respect and immutability of arbitral decisions. I submit that recent developments in Ecuador have strengthened those links and therefore arbitration is much stronger now. I will mainly refer to two principles developed by the Constitutional Court of Ecuador, the principle of minimal judicial intervention and the principle of undue constitutional interference. In terms of the first principle, the Constitutional Court has stated that derived from the constitutional recognition of the contractual and alternative nature of arbitration, its effectiveness also depends on a duty of respect and independence towards arbitration from the ordinary justice system an indiscriminate judicial control will transgress the alternative nature of this system and will leave the will of the parties without effect. In relation to the second principle, undue constitutional interference, the Constitutional Court has ruled that the Court cannot neglect also to mention that it is not allowed to denature a constitutional injunction by using it to attack decisions rendered by arbitrators or arbitral tribunals, since these will constitute a breach of the Ecuadorian legal order that expressly forbids a constitutional injunction be filed against decision of jurisdictional nature. If not, the constitutional justice will unduly interfere with arbitration. Both principles are aimed to guarantee, first, the respect for party autonomy, second, the ability of an arbitral tribunal to retain and assert its jurisdiction, and third, the respect and immutability of arbitral decisions. In relation to party autonomy, it is not contested that parties are allowed to agree to arbitrate their disputes through a fair and neutral procedure tailored to the needs of the case, always ensuring that due process is followed. The Constitutional Court has clarified that since party autonomy is the cornerstone of arbitration, provided that the basic guarantees of arbitral due process are respected, parties have a broad freedom to agree on the rules for the conduction of arbitration. The court has also recognized the concept of arbitral due process as an autonomous set of principles that differ from those pertaining the realm of the judicial due process. In relation to the ability of an arbitral tribunal to retain and assert its jurisdiction, the regulations to the Arbitration and Mediation Act enforced since 2021 provides that arbitration and mediation centers and arbitral tribunals shall have full independence and autonomy and shall not be subject to any order, provision or control of any authority that will undermine their powers. It is forbidden for any state authority to exercise control or to interfere in the functions of arbitration and mediation centers or arbitral tribunals. Regarding the respect and immutability of arbitral decisions, the Constitutional Court has established the limits of the annulment procedure of arbitral awards, restricting any judicial activity 
only to an in-procedent review and subject to the specific grounds set for in Article 31 of the Arbitration and Mediation Act. Furthermore, following this line of case law, Article 13 of the Regulations to the Arbitration and Mediation Act provides that the annulment procedure must respect the alternative nature of arbitration and follows and must follow the principles of minimum intervention, specificity, stopper, among others. I submit that these recent developments in Ecuador have strengthened arbitration and have ratified that parties are in charge of their arbitration. Thank you for your time and attention.